Right, we are back for turn 32 of Hell in the Hedgerows. What are we expecting to see this turn? Well, we've got this little uh, firefight kicking off down here. This one down here is continuing. And we're starting to get closer to the village. Our artillery 75 mil guns are starting to drop in here. Or The mission to uh, do the fire mission has gone out and the guns are firing, so... Um, Let's hope that they land uh, where we want them to. Uh, General's moving a few men up into the village to reinforce it. Uh, he's definitely spotted us coming down here. There was a, uh, a Tommy or two in this house here, which we opened up on with everything. Uh, but he's definitely seen us. So we will just press go and see what we get this time. Oh yeah, lots of activity in the village. If I remember rightly, I was pulling back a little bit from uh, down here because Jen's obviously got a lot of bodies down there. See water fire going on into the village there. Hopefully we're putting the hurt on a bit. A little bit of mortar fire down here as well. Uh, there was a six pounder that popped up and threw some shells this way. And that's a plane. Let's hope it's the fucker wolf. We're not going to get strafed again. Oop, something's taking a pot shot at the... Yeah. There's a casualty at the end down there. And someone took a pot shot at the... Panther towards the end. Cool. So let's watch this uh, left flank. We'll see what we get over here. What we get? So we'll watch this one first because this is going to be the more action packed. Oh, my body's uh, falling back from uh, the barn there. And the other half of the team with the team leader. Yeah, pretty much timed that pretty well, actually. Yeah, so they've now pulled back down here. Uh, the question is, have we caused any damage to the Tommies? Uh, I don't think we really have. Uh, there are a lot of them down there, so, you know, when they can put the fire out, They do really put the fire out of those uh, Lee Enfields. They've stuck themselves together. We'll in a minute. Ah, that's where that shooting came from. So Jen's moved some. Uh... That's a Bren team. Of course, that's a Bren team. He's set them up there to uh... inflate the road here. So we're going to have to move these guys one way or another. Probably done nasty things to that six pounder. We'll have a look at that in a minute, that noise there. And we'll see, we're starting to get that fire from the uh, Bren team there. Doing us a nasty. Fortunately, the MG gunner seems to be kind of. Uh, completely ignorant about that. So let's see what hits the panther. It's okay, but what hits it? Hit front turret. Where's it hit? Oh, it's just glanced off the top there a bit. Let's see, where did it come from? So we 
came from around there, I think. Might be a six pounder. Either way, it's not necessarily going to do much to the front of a uh, the front of a panther. That guy with the Bren is going to have to reload any time or sometime soon. In fact, he might have just hops down to reload there, but. Uh, we should hopefully. We don't want to get stuck here and brend to death, so. The Panther is a bit too far back to support them properly. We should have to try and put some fire out, but they are suppressed, so. You know, they might all die. And what have we got going on over here? It's kind of general. Quiet firefight, low intensity going on, really, I think. Yeah, a bit of fire at the guy down there. Oh, he's giving it back a bit, but like that. Yeah, that said, take cover. In fact, go home. Not a lot else going on over here. Doesn't look like there's any casualties on either side, really. I did just think for a second there. This guy can, because uh, he's a headquarters unit, he can call artillery in, so... Is it possible that Jen's moved him up here? To No, I don't think... It... No, it hasn't got the line of sight, has it? Cool. Let's see what is happening in the village. So we've got a suppressing fire on the house, and the lone pixel shipman who is in it is finding somewhere else to be. Which is a good move. Our guy's moving up. That's, yeah, that's the 75s coming in. going on here. Oh, okay, so it's two guys in that house up there. They're, they're legging it back across the road. Mortars for everyone. That sounded like a big explosion. What was that? I might be some of those mortars over there. Yeah, maybe. Oh, we docked a house down. Or a shed or something. Yay! Uh, Vickers team there. Uh, leaving the building. That seems like a uh, questionable move. And uh, this lone pixel trim, I, th I think, is the... Um, Survivor from the two inch mortar team that Jen had in the village. I think he's going to be. Uh, he should be suppressed fairly soon, I think. And we've got that last 75 mil just landed bang in the middle of the road. through. Yeah, lots of fire going down on the village. That's nice. We like that. 
Okay, we don't necessarily have to move in and take the village here. Uh, I am almost more interested in uh, outflanking General's troops down here. By uh, going through the village. Through the village. Uh, through these. Uh, through the trees here. The only problem is that's so exposed it's kind of risky. But we could, in theory. Can we see down there? No. Kind of only have to come up to about here so we can get the enfilade going. But risky. So we better just uh, get stuck into the village, I think. And let's just do a cursory check on the left flank. We might be able to get these guys rolling and moving up. Yeah, not a lot going on. Who's spotting? Yeah. Those pioneers, they're spotting the old Achilles. Right. Yeah, that's about it. So it's kind of going pretty well at the moment. Might need to slack on off with that. Well, we'll just expend that entire mortar. Why not? These guys, yeah, they're piling into the local blitz. Yeah, there they go. Um, and then we'll move them to somewhere where we can do things with them. That's it, Hapless. You speak, speak with the words and things. Yeah. Uh, that mortar's not doing anything, so let's get it to bomb something. And we are up to the bridge here, and we're not all horribly, horribly dead, so that's a plus. We'll start moving more bodies up there. These guys. Is it worth, do we think, just bum rushing? The panther up to about here, firing a shot and then running away again. I don't know. We probably we should probably move that one. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, press. That's all we really want to see. There's nothing else that slips by our attention. Is the Let's just have a quick check on where these mortar rounds are landing. Any of them that land in that kind of area, you know, actually, um, like that, inside that covered uh, covered lane, sunken road, whatever you want to call it, that should do the business pretty well. So that's cool. So we'll stop you. You can save your ammo. You can save yours as well. Three rounds in there. We'll try and put some rounds into that house where we saw the uh, the vicars. And we'll start moving the next squad up on this side. Oh, it's slow and it's messy and yeah. What are we going to do with you? You can't see them. Much ammo have you got? Oh, you guys got plenty of ammo.
I know you can see that because, you know, you were doing it earlier. Hmm. We can't. Oh. We can. Put a few more rounds down there. Can't quite get the panther to do anything down there, but we can reverse their touch. Now, one thing that I'm quite conscious that we're not doing here is really. Put, just put some like generalized MG fire down there from the old uh, Panther. So they're going to be firing for a few minutes. Let's see if we can't. We can't really adjust that too much because we can only just see into the. Uh, into the village. So let's um, actually bring those guys up this way and see. That's what I want to do is adjust it a little bit like further down this way. Uh, basically make it a shorter line because at the moment if we have a look it's the whole street. And, well, in fact, actually, it's only going to, if it's going to fire off all its ammo in 12 minutes, then screw it. You know, we'll just do that. Fire off all of the ammo. Um, let's, these guys are kind of screwed anyway. The way, the way that this uh, pack has set itself up is annoying me. I'm just kind of, I want you to move, you know, somewhere else. <laughs> uh, these guys are kind of half dead anyway, there's only two left, so. Um, I'm tempted to try and move them down here. Or even, you know, let's pull them back and move them just down the road. Worst case scenario, they get spotted by the tank. The tank fires, reveals its position to the pack 40 and gets destroyed. He says, casually throwing away the lives of his pixel tripping. We've got a lot of guys sitting around here doing nothing, and that's bad. We don't want people to sit around doing nothing. Guys, look. 
we also start like putting some bodies this way. We still see if we can't provoke some kind of reaction from Jed. We have this kind of weird standoff going on down here. See, we can only really mount a kind of slow motion attack down the village because I don't want to have like loads of men down here out in the open. So we just kind of have to get up there and kind of dribble in to uh, this kind of area down here. And then when we've got enough manpower, we'll just like flood into the village. That's the theory. Won't work. That's Hapless's patented prediction of how well this will go. It won't go well. Everyone will die horribly. That's the... Uh, uh, but, you know... We have got a significant force which isn't engaged and we can use that fairly freely. You guys better shoot those guys. What we can do is splitting you up. like it when there's a lot of people in a small area like that. Now let's get the cubal wagon. Cubal wagon. I'm getting these mixed up constantly today. Get the uh, opal blitz with the MP42s at the front and we'll whack the 42s in these uh, lines here. That'll free up some of that infantry. And yeah, how long have we got till the fucker wolf comes back in? About four minutes. That's going to be firing for like 10 minutes, which is great. So cool. Yep. Keep that house under fire. Uh, I am sort of expecting either Jen's going to try and attack me somewhere else to take the pressure off because he's got to kind of figure out that I'm doing something with the town or with the village rather so he's either just going to sit and take it and say right, Hapless has to take the village before he can get down to any of the objectives so he's just going to you know, keep feeding men into the village and keep the fight going uh, just to keep me busy or he's going to attack somewhere to try and um throw off my attention as it were I'm leaning more onto the you know he's got his ground he's got forward he's done his thing he's picked his ground where he wants to fight and now he's dug in so pushing it you know him coming out of that prepared position to have a go at me now that he's where he wants that's probably not how it's going to go but we'll see and yeah as I keep saying it's a long one. We're in this for the long haul. Uh, we'll see how things pan out. Let's press go and send it back 